And he said, Listen, all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, Do not fear or be dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. Tomorrow go down against them. Behold, they will come up by the accent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the valley in front of the wilderness of Jerusalem. You need not fight in this battle. Station yourselves, stand and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O oh, Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear or be dismayed tomorrow. Go out to face them, for the Lord is with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites from the sons of Kohathites and of the sons of Korahites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a very loud voice. And they rose early in the morning and went out to the wilderness of Tekel. And when they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, O Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Put your trust in the Lord your God and you will be established. Put your trust in his prophets and succeed. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who sang to the Lord and those who praised him in holy attire as they went out before the army and said give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness is everlasting and when they began singing and praising the Lord set ambushes against the sons of Ammon, Moab and Mount Zair who had come against Judah so they were routed for the sons of Ammon and Moab rose against, rose up against the inhabitants of Mount Zair, destroying them completely. And when they had finished with the inhabitants of Zair, they helped to destroy one another. Second Chronicles 20, 15 through 23. Sing praises. Oh, that we could reason less about our troubles and sing and praise more. There are thousands of things that we wear as shackles, which we might use as instruments with music in them, if we only knew how. Those people who ponder and meditate and weigh the affairs of life and study the mysterious developments of God's providence and wonder why they should be burdened, thrusted, and hampered. How different and how much more joyful would be their lives if instead of forever indulging in self-revolving and inward thinking, they would take their experiences day by day and lift them up and praise God for them. We can sing our cares away easier then we can reason them away. Sing in the morning. The birds are the earliest to sing, and birds are more without care than anything else that I know of. Sing at evening. Singing is the last thing that robins do. When they have done their daily work, when they have flown their last flight and picked up their last morsel of food, then on a top post twig, they sing one song of praise. Sing praises. <laughs>